we're here on the other side of the robotics and automation lab. I understand the 3D printer process, but I see tons of robots, what I believe to be automation equipment. So walk me through what, what's going on and what the students learn in here. Okay, well pretty much see, here you'll see that you have the process control system. So pretty much what this does, kind of think about your soda. On one side you enter the water, the other side you put the chemicals. And so as it's mixing it up, then it just distributes it and puts it in a, in a can. Got it. To be done. So this is all, this is like standard automation hardware. Correct. That, that someone in this industry would see. And then you guys have here, which to me, I would assume you guys are creating tricks, breaking things for Correct. the students to figure out how to troubleshoot yes. what part of the system has gone down. Correct. Cool. So the, we'll have them like, okay, they'll wire it up to, so the way it'll work price from the, so like say you give them a relay, they know how to wire a relay, they yep. know how to put the power supply. So as they do the process, once they have it working, then we'll tell, okay, turn around, we'll give them 40 ways of troubleshooting the issue. So we will unplug a cable, unplug a relay, turn off an LED, and so it's their job to find that problem or find that error. Got it. Without being guided. So since through the experience and knowledge and skills that we give them, they should be able to. Got it, be able to troubleshoot it, fix it. Correct. Very cool. Okay. So this is automation, yeah. and then this is another automation another process? Another automation. So okay. this pretty much the way it kind of, it focuses on separating. So you, right here you have your sensors, here your automation. So then we had pneumatics, which will be the hydraulics, and then pneumatics, which is powered by air, and it's powered through liquids and fluids. Got it, okay, yeah. cool. And then so you'll have your PLCs, which either the two that you use are either Allen Bradley's or Siemens. Okay. Okay. What do you say POC, what does that stand for? Programmable Logic Controllers. Okay, PLC, got yes. it, okay. So they're also using those to program the automation? Correct. Got it, wow. So they're troubleshoot, they're learning how to program, set the automation systems up, as well as troubleshoot them? Correct. Perfect. And that's why it's a nice program because it covers everything. You have, you're covering software, hardware, people interaction, people working together. Yeah, teamwork, teamwork. which is absolute key. Must key, Correct. Yeah. And so you'll see they have a Fanuc robot that they get to disassemble and put it back together. And so this is a robot. So this is like a larger version of this, basically? Correct. This, so this is the big big brother and this is the little brother. So you can see this is so they'll dismantle it, put it apart, put it back together again. And the whole thing is for them to work with their hands, work as a team. Yeah. Be able to, just as like a car, be able to dismantle it and put it back together. Yeah, so they know all the entire system, all the parts, the controllers, Correct. the hardware. Yes. Very cool. Freaking robots. <laughs> and so here again, you have the automation. So here, <clears throat> the way you can even see uh, the soda machine outside, there's pretty much what it does. So we'll have them wire the relays, the logics, and the lights will display just like on the screen. So if you want a soda, you know that, okay, I'll, I'll uh, turn it on, press the button, and it'll give you a soda. So this will go, go back and forth with the sensors. It'll tell you whether to stop at, se at seven up, Dr. Pepper, or root beer. Got it. Right, so once it gets in front, then imagine having an arm, it'll pop it out, and the soda comes out. Got so. it. But this could be used for, I mean, whether it's liquid or filling powders for what, whatever, like this is very much used in the food and beverage industry yes. as automation system, right? And I would imagine also for like uh, hardware manufacturing, like things that go in certain bins, right? It would just, they just use this same logic irrespective of what the product is. Correct. Yeah. So like say, instead of having the sodas, you have the, the candy bars. Right. They distribute it if you want. He's like, a snack, say, you're sna you like snacks, don't you? <laughs> I love snacks. Yeah, me too. So then you have like, say for the pills, you know, people have pills that'll go and find, because remember it has a label. Yeah. So it'll scan the label and it'll Got say, it. okay, Tylenol, you know, Advil right. or whatever you need. And it'll I always it. wondered how people learned that. I thought it, it, like there was like, just some place overseas you had to go. So I oh, love no. to know that UTI is, is doing this. And is this program, is this like one thing that you come here for and focus on this, or is this a part of another curriculum? No, this is pretty much the robotics and automation program that is focusing on teaching a little bit of everything. It might be entry level, but it can just be in aerospace, manufacturing, and even research and development. How long is this? Uh, class. This class is is about uh, 12 months, okay. so a year, 
and it's, it starts with the students' basic math, and then they go into metrology, which they teach how to measuring tools, and then they move into like say Inventor, working with software, then working with uh, like hardware, the PLCs, how to program. Yep. So we do teach them in C programming, which is the basic software. There, as they go, once they know the basics, they can move on to C++, yep. and Visual Basic, and different software. Very cool. So, so the good thing is, as soon as they are out in the field, they'll they at least be jogging. Right. Might not be walking or crawling, but at least jogging where right. they get to the level. That Got it. So basically, they come here straight off the couch, one year, they're ready to go out in the field of the industry that they're passionate about, apply their skills at an entry level, and then obviously those skills they've learned here when they get in the field, they know the basics, but they're excelling rapidly once they start getting that hands-on. Correct. So imagine, cool. once they get out of here, they'd be able to apply at, at Disneyland and work the animatronics right. that are the, at the Paris of Caribbean. Yeah, 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 very cool. Or whatever their passion is. Correct. Right? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So Robots. Here, robots. So you'll see as soon as you step into this field because it has a sensor. It's like go, a safety? Yes, safety because it... Stop. <laughs> Go. So as they're running, normally these will be caged, but because this one's a, a teaching yeah. robot, you can see it stays green, it's, it does its motion, but as soon as you step into its field, got it. And it so it. did they? Did the students program this? No. Right. Well, they get to program it. Okay. But right now it's just on a demo, so it, it tells them, okay, these are the maneuvers that are available yeah. to them, and it's up to them. Because the whole idea is, as you can see, the table will distribute little figures on the table, yep. and so it's up to the students to program the robot to be able to pick up cubes, cylinders, whatever you want. Got it. And so you want it to move it from right to left, left to right. So when it comes to this robot and for them to program this, they have a laptop or do they use, is this the programmer? This is the programmer. Okay, so, so, th yes. and so this is like standard industry programming for this type of robot? Correct. Okay. So you'll see it has a display. So it'll work whatever you want it to do. It just tells you the steps. So is the process basically like you manually tell the robot what to do? Like you put the thing out, you manually tell the robot what to do and then you save that motion as a, a program? Yes. Okay. And then basically in the field, they would do that and then there would be uh, software that controls, hey, for 24 hours you're running program number one. For the next 12 hours, you run program two. We're sorting pills, we're sorting soda. It's kind of like works like that? Correct. Okay. Because the whole thing is once you program it, remember once it's online, then you can be at home, say I'm just checking that the robot's still running and there's no red flags. <laughs> awesome. What do we have here? So here you'll see that it's kind of like a sorting um, tester. And what it does is it runs the, the test where it'll have a hockey puck cylinder, it goes through the shaft, and then so it'll push it, it'll go into the, 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 the placement, yep. and so it'll get pushed in, it'll sense it, so it'll recognize that if it's clear, then it'll say, okay, it'll scan it, it'll, it's telling you yellow because they're looking actually for a, a silver one. Okay. So that's the program, and so as it rotates, then it'll send it over, drop it to the conveyor, it'll scan it, so if, uh, so if it's the, the silver one that we're looking for, it'll drop it this way. Got but it. But because it's not, then it'll go to the next one. Correct. This could literally be in a million square foot warehouse, yes. right? And operating hundreds of these, whatever the case is. Correct. And they'll learn how to do the software, the troubleshooting, the installate, everything. Yes. Very cool. And that's the whole thing about the PLC. So they'll program it, they'll put it together. I mean, obviously this one's connected, but imagine doing that on the yeah. tables. So yeah, yeah. Learn how to put it together. Once they have it set up, then they program it with their laptops. They'll bring it over, program their, their software, so it'll run. And so the whole idea is as it goes through the shaft, it'll go through the sensors. It'll be, so if it goes through the sensor, it'll, if it's white, yep. it'll sense it. Sorts it perfect. If it's the black one, then it'll go to the next one. But then if it gets to the silver one, which is the one that they're looking for, Got it. Just pile up. And yeah, and then them. there'll be a, a, a secondary Correct. action for these ones that aren't it, whatever the case. Okay. And so this is where this fun part parts. So we'll have it next to the Fanuc robot, so it'll grab it. So now that it has a stack, it'll grab it and it'll put it back together and it'll continue its Got it. motion. So awesome. that way it's interacting between this Amatrol and the Fanuc robot. Yeah, very cool. So similar here, similar system to that. Correct. Yes. 
And so then this is basically a replica of that. So correct. we have two students or two teams. Two teams. And it's very much a team environment yes. here. I That's mean, they so could work huge. individually, but at the same time work as a team. We prefer yeah. for them to find that whatever they're comfortable. Yeah. With because by giving them that, that uh, liberty to say, hey, I want to work alone, but we also expose them to working as a team. Because remember, yeah. out in the field, if you don't work in a team or you don't know how to work as a team or communicate, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things I've been so impressed with with UTI is the mindset of teamwork. And like being a business owner that I am, team is everything. everything. And being able to integrate and understand the personalities you're working with and like where you best can add to that and starting that at the school and training level is like, that's, that's personally like, the skills are amazing, Correct. right? And then learning the skills are amazing, but learning teamwork I think is just invaluable. Invaluable, yeah. exactly. And the thing is, that you as much as we can train them, you cannot, I guess, uh, show that to them unless they go through the experience. Totally. Yeah, you can't let them get into those conflicts and you know their their default of like maybe wanting to take control or whatever. You 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 have to put them in that situation and let them learn to work work together, right? Yes. It's awesome. I love you guys are doing it like that.